Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. In this video, we'd like to show you how easy it is to change an electric drain pump on a top load washer. Although your washer may be different than the one we're using today, the procedure for changing an electric drain pump on a top load washer is very similar. Now, all closed washers need some method to remove the wash and rinse water from the tub. Most modern top load washers use an electric drain pump. Now over time, that drain pump may fail with repeated use. Sometimes foreign objects can enter that pump and cause damage and require it to be replaced. Now to do this repair, we'll need to first of all, turn off our inlet water supplies and disconnect the fill hoses. You'll also need to disconnect the drain hose, remove any residual water that might be in that drain hose. As well, we'll need to unplug the washer once we have everything disconnected and the water removed, we're simply going to lay it on its side so that we can access the bottom. Now that we have the washer safely on its side, we've located the drain pump on the bottom. We see with this particular one, it's mounted to the odor tub with three screws. There's also an inlet hose from the bottom of the tub to the inlet of the pump, as well as a discharge hose on the opposite side. So we'll need to remove both of these hoses. To do that, we're simply going to squeeze those spring clamps together, slide them up out of the way onto the hose, and then we'll remove the hose from the pump. Now if you encounter a hose such as this that is fairly tight to the cabinet, you may need to remove the mounting screws for the pump and pull it away far enough that you can actually pull that hose off of the outlet. Now before we remove those screws, we'll also need to disconnect the harness connector. Simply depress the locking tab and remove that. Then we'll take out those three screws. Now with the screws removed, we're ready to pull that pump away from the bottom of the tub. So we're just going to gently pull it down and then we can get it out far enough that we can remove the hose from the outlet. Now before we install the new drain pump, we'll take note that there is a little indicator tab on the outlet portion of that pump that lines up with a notch on the internal drain hose. So we need to make sure that those line up properly. Now we'll make sure that all three points where the mounting screws are located are lined up. And then we'll just put one in to secure the pump. And we'll reach in and make sure that we can pull that drain hose all the way onto the outlet. Again, making sure that we line up that tab. Then we'll go ahead and put the other two mounting screws in. Next, we'll reconnect the inlet hose to the pump. And again, we'll look for any tabs or markings that indicate how that lines up because we don't want any twists in that hose. And next, we'll reconnect the wire harness. Make sure it's inserted all the way and that the locking tab engages. Now we're ready to stand the washer back up and reconnect our supplies. Thank you so much for watching this video. We certainly hope that you now have the confidence to change the drain pump on your washer. For more videos on appliance repair, maintenance, and cleaning tips, be sure to visit our website. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.